I'm Chris. And I'm Blake. And we are Nordic Tiny Homes. Today we want to talk to you about some of the things that make our tiny homes suitable for extreme climates. Um, and we're going to talk about a couple things out here, and then Blake's going to go in and show you the floors. This is our Carlisle Whip 300 HT. It is an air barrier, water barrier, and we're going to do it around the entire house, walls, and roof. We've got this metal corner flashing that goes around and protects the underside of the OSB. Um, just so that if any moisture ever comes up from under the road, it's going to be protected by this flashing. Um, and then we've got our water barrier that's going to come down, we peel this off, and it's going to stick over that flashing. So if any moisture that comes down the outside of the house is going to just shed right off. It can't travel back under and get anything wet that we don't want wet. All right, let's take a look inside. I'll show you the floor and the insulation. All right. We're going to go back to the bathroom where we have the floor off so we can show you what's going on back there. One thing that makes our houses better for extreme climates is the way our trailer is configured down here. Let me show you. We have the cross members for the floor here, and then another one that runs underneath it all along the trailer. That allows us to cross insulate underneath and then through these bays here so that we eliminate the thermal bridges that are coming through the metal here. Another choice that's important for high performance is the insulation. We chose Roxel for its water resistant capabilities. Here you can see just water just beads off. It's also really easy to cut if you need to put it around wires or pipes. You can see it just cuts like bread. Let's take a look at this in the floor assembly. We have the insulation in the floor. On top of our floor joists, we screw down half inch sheet of plywood for our subfloor, and then we put a half inch R3 foil backed foam board for our insulation to eliminate any thermal bridging. Here we have a cross section. You see the half inch plywood that goes over our floor joists. And then you have the half inch of foam board insulation here. And on top of that, we put the flooring. You can see this here is a nice little piece of solid wood flooring. There you have it. And we need to seal the air that's coming up through the floor assembly. So we seal along the edges here with tape, and then we seal across all the plywood over here. We are Nordic Tiny Homes. Thanks for watching. We'll keep you updated as we have more to show you. Thanks. See you next time.